The Bad Spaniels case. Yes, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Jack Daniels Inc. versus VIP Products LLC in the Bad Spaniels case, or what has been known as a Bad Spaniels case. Essentially, it's this case on this bottle here, and you can see it says Bad Spaniels, um, old number two on your Tennessee carpet. It also says 40% poo by volume and 100% smelly. It's just a fun kind of bottle. Um, it's produced by this Arizona company. Uh, and I'll, here's another one, Bark Party. And Bark Party looks like a Bacardi bottle. It says potent Fiesta de Peros. And they're just humorous bottles. They're kind of fun. And they're dog toys. <coughs> they squeak also, which is kind of fun. And so, Jack Daniels bought, brought this case against this particular bottle and he brought this in Arizona in district court and federal court and essentially they brought Kate, uh, you know, causes of action for trademark infringement and trade dress infringement and for trademark dilution. Trademark dilution is for famous marks and if a mark is famous enough you can actually sue even if they're not selling the same product. So for example Jack Daniels sells liquor bottles, they don't sell chewy toys like this. So they say, even though we're so famous, uh, even because we're so famous, even if you're not selling um, the same type of product, a very different product, you're still consider you're still, in, uh, you know, you're still you're diluting our brand um, in certain ways, and that's a cause of action that they brought in in Arizona, or the the Jack Daniels brought in Arizona. So after the lawsuit was filed, VIP Products moved for summary judgment, um, basically arguing what's under the Rogers test that their work was expressive and was a humorous message and they sh the, the court should dismiss this case altogether. And a motion for summary judgment basically is a document filed with the court that says, court, if everything, is, everything that they're saying is true, we are still, you know, there's still not an issue here because we're not, a, we're not infringing on their mark for, you know, things of law, under the law. So they moved for summary judgment, excuse me, um, VIP products moved for summary judgment and the court, the district court in Arizona, they, actually, they denied that motion for summary judgment and VIP products appealed the decision of the district court to the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit found that under the Rogers test, um, they, this product was a humorous, you know, had this humorous message and under the Rogers test, they were actually entitled to summary judgment and dismissed the case. Well, as you could already know, that wasn't the end of it. And so Jack Daniels appealed the Rogers test to the Supreme Court, excuse me, appealed the decision of the, of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to the Supreme Court. And in that particular case, the Supreme Court actually ruled in favor of Jack Daniels and remained it back down to the lower court of, excuse me, back down to um, the, district court in Arizona to decide the issues of infringement. But essentially, a lot of this case was about the Rogers test. And the Rogers test originated from a movie back in the 20s, I believe. Um, and actually, it was about a movie called Fred and Ginger. And a famous actress at the time uh, that the movie was taken was um, Ginger Rogers. And Ginger Rogers was a famous actress. And in that particular case, the Rogers test was formed which basically said if it's an expressive work, it's not infringement. So the Supreme Court in this particular case, in the, in the Bad Spaniels case, basically said this particular product is not entitled to the Rogers test. And they actually called the Rogers test a cabin doctrine, essentially saying that the Rogers test really only applies in expressive works and not if you're doing it on a particular product. So they said this Rogers test did not apply. And they kind of talked about a couple other cases that where it did apply. And a couple of the cases were kind of fun cases as well. The movie The Hangover. The movie The Hangover, um, uh, Louis Vuitton actually brought a case against Warner Brothers in that particular case. And it was about the use of the Louis Vuitton mark in the movie. And in that particular case, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals actually found in favor of um, the defendant in that case and said, listen, it's, it's an expressive work. It's not on a particular product. It's a different message and you're entitled to summary judgment and ruled in favor of, of Warner Brothers. Additionally, the Supreme Court also talked about, in regards to the Rogers test, they also talked about um, another case for about the song, I'm a Barbie Girl. So uh, in that particular case, Mattel, the owner of Barbie, sued uh, RCA Records, who produced the song, 
and said that, listen, you know, um, you're infringing on our trademark. Stop, you can't do that. Give us a licensing fee or stop you or stop selling the product or stop producing the song. And in that particular case, the court actually also ruled in favor of um, the defendant in that case, RC Records, and said, no, this is the use of um, I'm a Barbie girl, you know, is applicable, excuse me, uh, the Rogers case is applicable to the uh, to that case because it's an expressive work and it's a funny work and it has a create some sort of creative ingenuity. On the other hand, the Supreme Court said that's not the case. Even though this is a this is a humorous message um, with the bottle, they are actually using it. Um, you know, it's not it's on the product itself, so they can't apply the, or the 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 Rogers test was incorrectly applied by the, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. So now now we're back to square zero. So now the case has been remanded back town to Arizona for this case to actually move forward to decide whether or not this particular bottle, this particular bottle is infringing under the theory of dilution and trade dress infringement on this particular bottle. And I thought this is a really fun case to talk about. If you t ask about, you know, half people, they may say that how is not an issue. If you, other, if you ask about the other half of people, you say that's an issue. It's just a fun case. It's got a fun sound. I hope you enjoyed the summary of the the the, uh, the Jack Daniel Properties versus VIP Products case. Um, and if you have any questions, please ask me. Leave some comments. You can also find me on Instagram, Derek Fahey, P A D E R E K F A H E Y P A, on Instagram and TikTok. If you liked my uh, video, please um, like it and subscribe. Leave any comments. I'm happy to answer them. And have a great afternoon and evening, and see you next time.